Thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with plenty of new details about the suspect charged in the shooting death of well-known and well-liked Reverend Artura Eason Williams outside her Whitehaven home Monday afternoon. The 15-year-old had his first hearing this afternoon. He is charged with first-degree murder and the perpetration of a robbery and other charges. And now we're learning he may have also committed another carjacking in Cordova just hours after the one that killed the Reverend. But that's not all we're learning about the case, and some details are hard to hear. Brad Broders was in juvenile court and is there live for us right now. Uh, what new information did we learn and what's next in the case, Brad? Well, a lot of things new, newly learned this afternoon, Richard. That juvenile will remain here in custody until his next scheduled court appearance August 1st, where a juvenile court judge is expected to decide whether to move that homicide case from juvenile court to adult court. Now, a court documents released today in juvenile court announced that 15-year-old Miguel Andrade fired several shots from Reverend Eason Williams' driver's side after she refused to get out Monday afternoon in the driveway on her Whitehaven Street. The affidavit said Andrade then pulled the Reverend out of her infinity and drove it away. Six 9mm shell casings were recovered at the scene. Hours later, around midnight Monday, on this Cordova Street, the same affidavit said Andrade and another teenager were involved in a carjacking of another woman. Court doctors said the juveniles drove away in that woman's Chevy before crashing it moments later on Larry Lane in Berkeley. After the suspects were taken into custody nearby, court documents said investigators found the Reverend's stolen infinity key in Andrade's right front pocket. Obviously, the judge would have to make a decision. Uh, considering the seriousness of these allegations, I would think that it leans toward uh, uh, being transferred. Now, Miguel Andrade's mother fought emotions in the courtroom this afternoon, but declined comment afterwards. Another 16-year-old was arrested by Memphis police following that second carjacking. At six, youth intervention mentors outline their new strategies and offer advice to parents following this rash of crimes involving teenagers charged with violent crimes. Live in downtown Memphis, I'm Brad Broders.